Me? Obsessed with you? Yes. Yes, I am. All right, if you're anything like me and you absolutely hate having a dirty home, especially dirty floors, I'm about to give you the best advice ever. It's really not that hard to have and maintain a clean home that meets your standards. Um, there's just a few rules that you're going to have to learn to enforce in your life, and they're really not that hard, I promise. Um, basically, don't ever have a husband, don't have children, and don't have pets. And I know what you're thinking. Riley, I already have those things. That's fine. It is totally fine. It is never too late to get rid of them. Um, no matter how much you love them, how cute and cuddly they are, it's okay. Let's clean up my disaster of a home after Christmas. Both of my girls decided to wake up at 4.30 in the morning, you guys. Yes, you heard that right, 4.30 in the morning. 
We tried making them go back to bed, but honestly, you guys, it's Christmas. It's okay. They were up. This is actually really funny. I think Kylo or Kat liked the Christmas wrapping paper way more than we did. He was hiding in there, and I had no idea what was heavy underneath that wrapping paper. Tyler was on packaging duty, so he broke down all the boxes while I worked on the wrapping paper and throwing everything away, organizing everything. Once I threw out all the wrapping paper, I collected the toys, put them in a bag, and this is how it turned out. Merry Christmas, you guys. Hope you have a great day. i en stad i Sverige. Som ni ser så mår den här personen inte bra. Och vi är här för att göra det vi kan för den här personen. Och ni brukar gilla de här videosarna så jag tänker att jag lägger upp dem denna gången också. Det stora jobbet i detta är egentligen att samla ihop allt skräp. Det tar väldigt lång tid och det blir väldigt många sopsäckar. Vi samlar panten och sen ställer vi den så att folk kan ta de som behöver. Och vi hittade väldigt många trevliga överraskningar när vi gjorde det här. Jag räknade inte hur många sopsäckar detta blev men det blev väldigt, väldigt, väldigt många. Och jag har väldigt mycket material, det här är bara vardagsrummet. Så det kommer givetvis komma fler delar. Så jag hoppas att ni är taggade på det. Jag är helt slut så nu ska jag vila. Och så ses vi igen om någon dag med en till video. Clean my extremely messy kitchen with me. I fixed this big mess in less than an hour which was really fast considering that I am also a big mess and haven't fixed myself yet in 22 years. Where we look at that. Arriba. But honestly, I thought downloading TikTok would be my death sentence since I already spent way too much time on Instagram. But then I found clean talk morning routines and all that fun stuff and got kindo obsessed. Now I actually have fun cleaning, filming and building a routine. Your kind and funny comments also motivate me a lot. Here I sort out bottles to bring them to the store and get my juicy fanned money. Cleaning all this took me today so I hope that I can post a part two in today's where my kitchen is super clean.
Clean my extremely messy kitchen with me. I fixed this big mess in less than an hour which was really fast considering that I am also a big mess and haven't fixed myself yet in 22 years. Wary look at that. Arriba. But honestly, I thought downloading TikTok would be my death sentence since I already spent way too much time on Instagram. But then I found clean talk morning routines and all that fun stuff and got kindo obsessed. Now I actually have fun cleaning, filming and building a routine. Your kind and funny comments also motivate me a lot. Here I sort out bottles to bring them to the store and get my juicy fan money. Cleaning all this took me today so I hope that I can post a part 2 in today's where my kitchen is super clean. My toddler's dad caught what seemed to be a stomach bug so I did what any normal person would do and I banished him from my house. However this meant I got stuck with a tiny little tornado of a toddler who I had to entertain for two weeks straight. And as you can see our little apartment got completely neglected. I don't know why, but whenever I see people do deep cleans on TikTok, I always think, fuck it, I'm doing it too. I'm getting up and I'm doing it. So I thought I'd film this because maybe I'll be someone else's motivation today. Anyway, I got stuck into the kitchen because that's my least favorite. It never takes as long as you think it does. I don't know why. After the kitchen, I moved on to the little dining area. Honestly, I don't know what's going on here. Don't ask. And I'm going to have to ask you to excuse the dogs throughout this video. This is the little front door dump. I then started on the lounge room, which for some reason I seem to be cleaning 24 fucking 7. The table's always covered in cocoa pops and the floor's always covered in cheese. By the way, I'm saving the floors for last. Don't look under the couch! I ran out of time to do the other rooms, but let me know if you want to see a part two. Bye! So I'm finally getting a new coffee table delivered today. If you know, you know. So I'm taking full advantage and deep cleaning this living room. The sofa is fairly new, so I'm just giving it a quick freshen up. Never underestimate the strength of a woman when she's on her own. I don't need a man. <laughs> and I bet you already know what cleaner I'll be using. Yes, it's Rope Olympia, my favorite Spanish cleaner. It smells divine. If you've never tried this cleaner, trust me, you need to try it. Then onto the windows, I'm using the Free Witches window cleaner. Again, this is a Spanish cleaner. Just popping the sofa back together and here's a top tip. Use Lenore tumble dryer sheets down the side of your cushions for that extra freshness. Then it was time to give the rug a deep clean. So yeah, I got this bad boy out. Now this actually doesn't look too bad on camera, but it was filthy. Just look at that water. And if you want to know what happened to my coffee table, Tom had the lads round for a few drinks. Boys being boys decided to arm wrestle on it and his fist went through the table. But on the plus side, I get a new table. I've gone for something different, something lighter. I can't wait to show you. Let's do a super realistic clean with me because my room is really messy and this is so vulnerable showing you guys how messy it gets, but let's clean it up. So I'm going to start by making my bed so I can use that as like a surface to put other things on. I feel like as a content creator, there is like so much pressure to have like a super clean and aesthetic room at all times. And I'm going to let y'all know that is like not the case for me. I really wish though I was one of those girls with like a super clean room and it was like always presentable for guests, but I struggle with ADHD really bad and it can make cleaning super challenging. If y'all also struggle with ADHD, I find it helps to break it down task by task and do not do anything else until that little task is complete. For me, that'll be like doing my makeup count I won't do anything else until that's done. And since I'm a content creator, I do have the perk of like recording myself. So I literally cannot leave that task. Otherwise it'll ruin the time lapse. So maybe do that for yourself too. I've really been struggling with anxiety lately, which is part of why my room can get so messy. But yeah, here it is clean. I feel like so much more at peace in like a clean room. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. So I am pure panic cleaning right now because I've got someone coming round to see if they can fit an integrated dishwasher and washing machine. They are not going to be bothered in the slightest if my house is clean or not, but my mind tells me otherwise. I even changed the dish mat expunge. So yeah, I'm scrubbing this downstairs like there's no tomorrow. This fridge had one finger mark on it and I still had to scrub the full thing. And of course, emptying this smelly ass bin. Dettol disinfectant spray is a lifesaver. Did I need to clean these cupboards? No, I didn't. But you really can't beat a fresh kitchen drenched in Sephora.
Oh, and here's a clip of me dancing with the washing machine, trying to get it out. Luckily, I did this the other day, so it's not too bad. So not happy with the marks it left on the floor. I am so happy to be saying bye to this machine. Well, that's if they can change it. Fingers crossed. Onto the lounge. Dog hairs, be gone. Okay, let's see how many empty water bottles Tom has dumped today. Oh, there's one and two. This unit is giving dusty. Some advice if you're planning on buying a new build, don't buy black furniture because the dust will drive you insane. Finish with a good mop and some smellies and we are done. I started an emergency free cleaning for an older woman who was about to get evicted and my heart was absolutely shattered the minute I walked in and saw the state of her home. Every single square inch of this apartment was filled to the absolute brim and I honestly am not even sure how she lives here. But then I made it to the bathroom and it absolutely broke me. It was very clear that she has been saving and reusing toilet paper as well as pads in replacement for toilet paper. This is definitely one of the worst cases that I've ever dealt with between the bugs and the mice along with having a cat with no litter box available. It was quite bad and very clear that mental health played a huge part in this. At the end of the day, I'm just thankful she trusted me enough to let me help her. And as someone who's way less than half her age and way more mobile, I was still stumbling all over the place. And it broke me to know that she walks with a cane and somehow still manages to live in an environment like this. After six hours, I'm out of garbage bags and steam. So I will be back tomorrow and every day this week until I get this job finished for her. If you're anything like me and absolutely hate the after dinner cleanup, then this is your motivation. Go and get it done. You can thank me later when you've got a nice clean space to wake up to in the morning. Anyway, we had spaghetti bolognese for dinner tonight, so that's me just done the dishes and cleaning the oven there. I am using my shark handheld hoover for the crumbs. Absolute game changer, by the way. My cleaning combo tonight was the pink stuff paste and the multi-purpose spray. That's me also just having a tantrum because I realised I missed a dish to wash. How annoying. Anyone spot all these little toes at the dining table when I was wiping it. I then got the good old shark out for a hoover and used pink stuff floor cleaning spray at some point today cooper managed to get his hands on an eraser daddy r.i.p so yeah i had to give that all a hoover as well it was absolutely everything yeah. i had to deal with this pile of clean washing that's been sat on my sofa that i have been avoiding all day so yeah put that away then gave the couch a quick vacuum and febreze it the end is now near so i just picked up all this crap that was lying around put the dry clean washing away and then gave this area a hoover as well and finished off with a wax melt we are back and we are cleaning my room. First things first, I have to take like nine bags of laundry downstairs. Okay, that took five trips, but it's done. It's now it's time to throw away all this garbage. I'm gonna finish clearing all of this stuff off. Now I'm gonna take off the glass to clean it. I'm going to clean underneath, and then if I need to touch up the paint, I'll do that. All clean, featuring yesterday's garbage flowers. Now I have to start putting things back into their homes, so follow for part three.
Let's clean up my Christmas themed bath and answer a couple questions I saw in the comments. While the beet juice does make the bath water look really red, it does not dye the bathtub, your skin, and it doesn't even get on the towel. I let it soak overnight and you can still see the red is nowhere to be seen. It's Epsom salts I put in with the cranberries, not sugar. Though anytime you're taking a bath, I highly recommend rinsing off afterward just to be safe. Now let's finish cleaning up this mess. Welcome back to my house is a mess and I'm trying to reclaim it. I've never uh, said that I am a clean person. I'm definitely a messy person, but I am trying to change that. So here I am cleaning my side of the sink. It's been so long since this has been deep clean that I had to scrub breast milk off of all of these cabinets. If you know, you know. If you're a pumping mom, then you understand that. I did make sure to wipe everything down. Moving on to my husband's sink. Oof, this was a doozy. He cuts his hair in the sink and that sink was so clogged. I used some Drano and I did finally get it to drain, but man, it was a lot of work. And I don't, I don't know guys, I can't not have 500 shampoo and conditioner bottles on the shower. Um, this bathroom was pretty embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie, the toilet was absolutely disgusting, but uh, we got it cleaned and uh, moved on to the shower next where I used the purple shampoo and conditioner, which was all over the shower, but some pink stuff in the drill uh, got it all up. So that's great. And this is what it looks like um, now that it's been deep cleaned. Tell me which room I should clean next. They're all pretty messy. Hello friends. So I have been a little bit hesitant to share a video like this because I know there are people on this app who are going to judge me for how messy this bedroom got. But I also hope that maybe there's someone who will see this and feel a little bit less alone. Um, the bedroom is a visual representation of my depression and anxiety and feelings of being overwhelmed and all of the stress that we've been going through. My husband and I both work, but I work from home and I have four kids and the bedroom is the last place that I ever go to clean up and tidy up because the baby sleeps in here so I don't have full access to this room 24 seven. And also it's just the lowest on my priority list. I mean, I wanna keep the living spaces clean and our bedroom, we just sleep in it. We don't do much else in here. So it, it just gets messy. Uh, that's okay i deal with it i don't need advice about it but if you want to see the end result you're gonna have to like and follow because this is going to be a multi-part process this is what i came home to after letting our house sit vacant for six months while my husband was deployed he's doing his reintegration process so i'm doing everything i can while my daughter naps i'm doing one half of the house today and i'll do the rest tomorrow this half includes the entryway the kitchen and the living room because no one's been here it has not been mopped in six months we live in the desert so there's dirt everywhere i'm expecting this mop water dump to be pretty nasty and after mopping the kitchen i did realize that i missed a spot but it's okay because i'm sure i'll be mopping tons in the next couple of days I can smell the comments, I know that my toilet is nasty, I promise I will clean it. When we left it was around Christmas time, so we had these Nightmare Before Christmas stickers on the door. And I was not expecting this to happen. This is where I realized I wasn't going to be able to scratch it off. So I went and got some Windex and I sprayed it down. I thought that this would do the trick, but it did not. This one's face actually came off, but the rest of him didn't. And it was not the case for the rest of these guys. Even though I scrubbed for a solid minute, at this point I decided to close the blind so I didn't have to look at it anymore. The back entryway was absolutely filthy. I'm not even sure how all of this dirt even got in here. I mean, seriously, how does this even happen? It's still not clean to my standards, so I'm sure I'll be doing a floor scrub soon. Got the house to myself tonight, so I'm doing a one hour speed clean whilst my Chinese is en route. Switched into pages, of course, because I ain't cleaning in no cargoes. Tonight there was a record breaking four cups and bottles in the boys room tonight, so I removed them, washed them, and then wiped down the cooker and the sink. This ain't a deep clean, so don't come at me tonight if I'm missing any spots. Although I will say, whilst my dental was marinating on the table, I noticed that they blind handles or really dirty, so I gave them a good scrub. Then gave the floor a good hoover. Ollie had been playing with Connect Sand in here earlier, so it was honestly like the beach. Now, this is the dog's corner of the sofa. That is why there's 
there's always multiple blankets piled up in this area to save my couch from getting dirty. A lot of you ask how I managed to keep this sofa clean with kids and a dog. I honestly don't. I just manage to hide the stains well. It is really difficult to keep clean. On a serious note though, a good upholstery cleaner is always on hand for any accidents. On to the never ending pile of washing. I actually never got around to folding and putting away the clean washing tonight, but never mind. There was me just minding my own business, doing the perfect Hoover lines and my Hoover decided to die on me. Quick battery change and we're all good. Finally caved and got the boys one of those TikTok shop lights that everyone has and I'm kind of jealous. I want one from morning room. Not me taking the Chinese delivery and whilst I've got a tripod set up watching my Hoover. Also, disclaimer, that is not a prong cracker I gave the dog. It is in fact a pig snout. Je me suis absenté un jour un vrai désastre. Je vais nettoyer en profondeur. Je retire les tâches. J'attaque l'autre côté, il est catastrophique. Des miettes de biscuits. On retire la poussière. Encore des miettes. Et voilà, tout est propre. Je peux enfin me poser. I thought my house was messy because of depression, but it turns out I'm just a dirty person and yikes guys This is bad. Clearly you can see the damage that has been done to this window in my defense I will say this usually has blackout curtains covering it So I never know what's underneath but that's about as much justification as I can give for myself <laughs> As someone who's committed to learning how to be a cleaner person, now I know, this sounds so dumb, but now I know you're supposed to clean your windows more often, as in actually clean them in general, because clearly I have not been doing that. Um, and we live in a very humid place. I don't know if you're supposed to get condensation on the inside of your windows when you live in a humid place, or if I actually have an issue that I need to talk to my management about. So let me know in the comments if this is normal or not. Like I know if I clean continually that the mold might not grow back but are we supposed to be getting condensation on the inside of our windows also let me know if you guys want to see me do this to my other windows in my house because i'm pretty sure they might all be looking the same here uh Oopsie. <laughs> i did use vinegar to remove the mold at least i think it was mold i didn't test it i just kind of assumed it was and then treated it as such i did clr to get off the stains and finished with spray away on the windows themselves Ooh, ah so beautiful follow for more bye Hello, <laughs> and welcome to watch four of the sickest messy homes in Europe. This time, we will clean all these apartments super fast, and the end result will definitely be sickeningly satisfying for all the houses. <laughs> I will tell you which country we are in and what has happened.
Hello guys, today we are in Switzerland. This is the home of a 25-year-old Sophie. She had lived in this home for over six years now. At the age of 21, Sophie got fired from her job. It was a shocking news for her and she got sick with depression. Days went by and Sophie was staying home alone, day after day. It all started little by little. She didn't have the energy to do the dishes. On top of the dishes, she left a few paper trash. Soon, there was a hundred trash. Next, a thousand. But nobody knew how devastating her situation actually was. She had friends and family, and from time to time, they wanted to come and visit her. Like normal family and friends. But Sophie would always have to come up with excuses. After posting about this free hoarder cleaning, I got so many questions about this bathroom. How I cleaned it, what I used, what was on the floor, and how it got that way. So here's a full breakdown of exactly what I did. I removed all of the garbage, and clearly he was a heavy smoker, and probably hasn't deep cleaned in the 30 years that he lived here. So everything was covered in this big thick coat of dust and ash, among other things. So I sprayed and wiped as much surface dust as I could before absolutely coating this floor in sift cream. Whatever's on this floor is way too thick, so I knew I was gonna have to give that product a lot of time to work. Then I coated the outside of the toilet bowl in bleach, and after Letting it sit for a while, I scrubbed that entire thing top to bottom with a scrub mummy. Everyone always asks, I did throw it out afterwards. Then I gave the toilet a quick wipe down before pushing around the product on the floor. It was already starting to work really well and a lot of that gunk was already coming up, but I let it sit for a while longer before going over it with a steel scour daddy. This was such a thick mixture of cigarette ash, dust, and I don't know what else, but it had been there so long that I had to scrape it and it was rolling up like a fruit roller. I added a little more product, scrubbed it around again, and had to get that all up off the floor before I repeated the process. So I squeegeed everything back into a corner and I used Use these Vileta sheets, which are supposed to be meant for oil spills. Then I started working on the walls. Honestly, scrubbing them with the dish daddy was so the way to go. I got off so much gunk and nicotine. And after giving the whole bathroom a once over with disinfectant, it went from looking like this to like this. Knowing he gets to come home to this is the best feeling in the world. But yeah, in only two weeks, we flew here to help Sophie. Her brother and other family didn't think we could do it. But I think I proved them wrong.
Wir putzen bei Anja Part 3. Das sind die Putzmittel, die ich verwende. Die benutze ich auch privat bei mir. Und ja, beim Putzen benutze ich normalerweise so 5 bis 8 Mikrofasertücher zum Putzen. Mir wird ja ganz oft unter meinen Cleaning-Videos vorgeworfen, immer denselben Lappen zu benutzen, was absolut nicht stimmt. Hier habe ich erstmal die Kaffeemaschine sauber gemacht. Die musste nicht entkalkt werden, sonst hätte ich das auch eben gemacht. Ich finde, der Step ist immer ein bisschen mühselig. Kenne ich auch von mir zu Hause oder als ich bei Sarah sauber gemacht hatte. Aber dann kommen auch wieder schöne Parts, wie zum Beispiel hier bei dem Herd. Oh, es gibt ja nichts Schöneres. Ich liebe das, gerade mit The Pink Stuff. Da sind ja so kleine Körnchen drin, die wirklich alles wegschrubben. Könnte ich einen ganzen Tag sauber machen. <lacht> Nach dem Schrubben gehe ich dann nochmal einfach mit einem nassen Lappen drüber. Und dann wische ich das Ganze natürlich nochmal trocken. Also da gibt es auch wieder einige Steps, aber es lohnt sich, weil danach sieht es einfach aus wie neu. Ich finde die Küche auch so wunderschön. Wer mich hier schon länger verfolgt, macht das bloß weg. Der weiß, dass ich eine weiße Küche habe. Und mal eine schwarze Küche sauber zu machen, ist natürlich auch sehr interessant. Wenn es meine wäre, würde ich danach nochmal mit so einem Öl drüber gehen. Aber da weiß ich nicht, ob das wirklich für jedermann was ist. Einen letzten Part wird es noch geben. Macht gerne das Plus weg. Ein fettes Hallo an alle neuen Follower. Und bis später. Tschüss. Absolutely stunning houses that look like this may seem spotless on the surface. They may seem like you could not fault a single thing. But then we arrive and we get under the surface and into the nitty gritty of things. So come with me today as I do a nice big deep clean of this three story home. I started off in the shower slash steam room and got stuck right into the drainage. It definitely needed it. I'm not sure when the last time this was done, but I'm so happy with the result. I scrubbed my arms off and I got right into the tiles. I got into the shelving and then I even got up and I did the roof and the walls. I'm a tall gal, so I was also able to reach the shower head too. And before you get your knickers in a knot about me wearing socks, the shower floor was not wet yet. Relax. So that was the steam room all done. Shining, sparkling, gorgeous, perfect. Then I'm moving on to this beautiful sink. I really love this industrial sort of cement look. I don't know what it is, but I love it. However, it did collect a lot of mold, so I got stuck into that, gave everything a good scrub, and then I popped it back on. Everything also smelled so much fresher after this. It definitely needed a good refresh. That's when it's finished. And then I moved on to the upstairs bedroom. This is a three-story home, so it is gonna take me all day. So I'm just putting all the fresh bedding on. I put the old bedding in the wash and it's waiting to go into the dryer. I'm not sure why, but this room was full of hair. So after the bed was made, I made sure I got into all of the nooks and crannies, all of the little corners, and I got all of the hair and dust that was built up. And let me know if you want to see me do the rest of the house. Bye! Je nettoie et réorganise la maison avant l'arrivée du Ramadan. En effet, moi j'ai 5 saisons pour faire le grand ménage. Qui est comme moi? Aujourd'hui, je commence par le salon. Je vais essayer de faire chaque jour une pièce pour pas trop me fatiguer. Je vais nettoyer en extrême mon salon. Ça fait longtemps que j'ai pas bien taraf. J'en ai trouvé des surprises sous les solaris. C'est vrai que les salons marocains sont très beaux. Mais qu'est-ce que ça fatigue On s'attaque au point. Et vous Vous avez commencé votre ménage pré-ramadan Moi, je suis du genre à organiser la maison et préparer quelques recettes pour me faciliter la tâche. Surtout avec un bébé, ce n'est pas facile de tout faire.
Bien sûr, on n'oublie rien. Et voilà, tout bien propre. Every Wednesday, I set a one hour timer and I see how much I can get done around the flat in that time. It is a lifestyle at this point. But giving myself one little baby hour in the middle of the week where I just get on with it and I'm not allowed to procrastinate has honestly made my life so much better. For one, I do very much see this as an Olympic sport and every week I'm trying to beat my personal best. Okay, I'll admit, breaking one of my favorite straws while aggressively unloading the dishwasher was not my best work. But you win some, you lose some. Reloading the dishwasher with a smidge less aggression. And now a task I cannot put off any longer. My fridge absolutely humding a lings. Taking out what I think are the offending areas and washing them properly in the sink. Ooh, that is definitely dried up milk on there. No wonder the stench has been sending me west every time I look for a snack. I'd normally edit this really smoothly, but just know those shelves are getting banged left, right and center when you're trying to take them out. Also, I'm lazy cleaning the rest of the shelves because I'm just not in the mood for a shower trying to do them in the sink. Fridge clean done in record time that is something i'd normally make a way bigger deal about probably give it its own video but do you know what i just couldn't be asked just wanted to get it done as quickly as possible and it's inspired me i think every week i'm going to try and include one of those cleaning jobs that you always put off but in reality it doesn't even take that long well 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 here we go again time to clean my sofa and i've not actually done it with surf disinfectant for a while somebody asked me to try a different pattern so i've tried to go for like a checkered vibe and i'm just going to tell you now i don't like it I don't like it at all. But we're against the clock and there are no time for redos, so we're gonna have to live with it. Luckily, it will only be there until I decide to plonk my ass on it. And my ass is drawn to that sofa like a moth to a flame, so we shall not be waiting long. Oh, whose idea was it to put the timer over there and then mop? Risking a bin run with a mere five minutes to go, but I'm back and we've still got two minutes. Time's up, goodbye. This is day three and the final day of cleaning this bed bug apartment in Paris for a poor older man who really needed our help. If you're just tuning in now, Ari and I clean for free for people who are living in unlivable situations and struggling. We decided to team up for this place after his daughter contacted us desperately in need of our help. Everything shown here was what we finished yesterday and now today I'm starting on finishing up this last bathroom. Since he was a full-time single dad living with his daughter here for the last 30 years, everything is coated in dust. So I got everything wiped down and then coated the floor in sift cream. After adding some water, letting it sit and scrubbing it, it turned out absolutely amazing. I I was shocked at how much came up and I couldn't be more excited. Then since he is a heavy smoker and smokes inside, I started to work on the doors. And let me tell you one thing, if you smoke, do not smoke inside. Just look at the difference between these two doors alone. It has literally coated everything. Then I went to check on Ari who was finishing up the kitchen. And honestly, I swear no one has more fun cleaning than this girl. But can we just take a minute to appreciate the magic she performed on this kitchen? I can't even believe this is the same place we walked into. Then it was time to tackle the old man's bedroom. This one broke my heart because every square inch of this bedroom was covered in dust and ash and bugs. It absolutely broke my heart but gave me all the motivation in the world to finish this and get it so comfortable for him. Unfortunately, like I said, we did confirm there were bed bugs, so we took lots of footage to send to the exterminator who will be there this week. Until then, we got up all of the garbage, all of the dust, we vacuumed up absolutely everything we could, even the mattress which we also sprayed down. Then we put on his new sheets, mattress cover, duvet, and pillows. We also left him some cleaning supplies behind and also gave a big box to a mom in the building. And just like that, the dumpster was picked up and we went to our final dinner in Paris at Kong where we had some amazing food and celebrated all of our hard work during this cleaning. Ihr wisst ja, ich liebe Putzen über alles. Deswegen machen wir heute bei der lieben Anja sauber. Das ist wirklich so eine wunderschöne Wohnung und da macht es natürlich am meisten Spaß, sauber zu machen. Ich habe euch jetzt erstmal ein Badezimmer mitgenommen. Davon gibt es dann noch einen zweiten Teil, weil das wirklich unglaublich viel ist. Ich versuche bei anderen Leuten immer so ordentlich zu putzen wie zu Hause. Also so, wie ich mich halt wohlfühlen würde. Und das ist dann auch schon echt hoher Standard. Also das muss schon so klinisch rein sein, dass man da operieren könnte. Nee, Spaß, das wäre auch übertrieben. Aber ne, ich denke mir, wenn man putzt, dann richtig... Und auch wirklich alles, also auch mal das Duschgel abwaschen, irgendwie Make-up sauber machen, irgendwelche Behälter. Vielleicht ist OP-Standard übertrieben, aber halt so wie in einem Hotel, obwohl es da ja meistens auch immer so ein bisschen pekig ist. Ich finde hier bei der Parfümsammlung sieht man das ganz gut, das sind Sachen, die müssen entstaubt werden, das sind einfach Staubfänger. Es ist total lästig, aber es muss gemacht werden. Das Badezimmer ist nicht geputzt mit bisschen Badreiniger, Toilette abgebraust und good night. Da sieht man nochmal diesen schönen Prozess vorher, währenddessen alles ist so satisfying und danach alles sauber. Das muss schon ordentlich gemacht werden und es borgt ja auch. Also ich kann es verstehen, wenn man sagt, ich mag kein Putzen, aber da bin ich raus. Also ich finde das ja so geil. Die Bewegung ist natürlich auch nicht schlecht, ne? Ach, ist das wieder schön. 
Wie gesagt, es gibt einen zweiten Part, kommentiert gerne. Anja hat nämlich zwei Bäder und einige Räume. Bis gleich. My house is so upside down right now. We've had back to back tournaments like every weekend and when that happens like I usually get so behind. I've tried so hard to keep up with the laundry and the cleaning and like I swear one or two days it just gets so behind. I've been trying to give myself a lot more grace with this because I'm realizing that this is just my life now. My house isn't dirty, it's just lived in. I started reading a book, Habits of the Household, and he literally starts it with prefacing that he has small children and he's in the thick of it. And that this book is for people that are in the thick of it. And that's literally just where I'm at, in the thick of it. I've started to listen to audiobooks while I'm cleaning so that I can refrain from rage cleaning, <laughs> which I often do. It's really hard not to rage clean when there's just stuff everywhere. And I throw things away all the time. Like, I'm always getting rid of stuff, but yet there's still so much stuff. But I have four kids, and they all have a lot of stuff in a small space, so it is what it is, you know? And everyone I talk to says the same thing. Like, this is, this is life. This is motherhood. And I'm all about making motherhood unfiltered content because this is what it looks like. This is normal. If you have a lot of stuff, it's normal. If your kids are making messes all the time, it's normal. If you have laundry every day, if you have to clean every day, if you have dishes so high you can't see your sink, it's normal. So if you're in the thick of it like me and you get frustrated with yourself like I do, I'm here to tell you this is normal and you're doing great. You're a great mom. Love you, bye. Je nettoie en profondeur ma chambre. On commence par bien aérer. Même s'il fait hyper froid, je peux pas m'empêcher. J'avoue, ça fait trop du bien. Je vais juste changer la hausse de matelas. Les draps ont été faits la veille. On va bien dépoussiérer. On n'oublie rien. On s'attaque au coin. Je vais mettre à laver mon rideau et bien nettoyer la fenêtre. Je vais également nettoyer les murs. Ça fait un moment que je les ai pas touchés. Ah là, quelle satisfaction Je vous dis pas l'odeur du propre. C'est une thérapie pour moi le ménage. Petit tour de magie. Attaque Ninja. La dernière touche. Et voilà tout beau et propre. Dites-moi ce que vous en pensez. Lavia, in only two weeks, we flew here to help Sophie. Her brother and other family didn't think we could do it. But I think I proved them wrong. Just wait.
Wir putzen bei Anja Part 3. Das sind die Putzmittel, die ich verwende. Die benutze ich auch privat bei mir. Und ja, beim Putzen benutze ich normalerweise so 5 bis 8 Mikrofasertücher zum Putzen. Mir wird ja ganz oft unter meinen Cleaning-Videos vorgeworfen, immer denselben Lappen zu benutzen, was absolut nicht stimmt. Hier habe ich erstmal die Kaffeemaschine sauber gemacht. Die musste nicht entkalkt werden, sonst hätte ich das auch eben gemacht. Ich finde, der Step ist immer ein bisschen mühselig. Kenne ich auch von mir zu Hause oder als ich bei Sarah sauber gemacht hatte. Aber dann kommen auch wieder schöne Parts, wie zum Beispiel hier bei dem Herd. Oh, es gibt ja nichts Schöneres. Ich liebe das, gerade mit The Pink Stuff. Da sind ja so kleine Körnchen drin, die wirklich alles wegschrubben. Könnte ich einen ganzen Tag sauber machen. <lacht> Nach dem Schrubben gehe ich dann nochmal einfach mit einem nassen Lappen drüber. Und dann wische ich das Ganze natürlich nochmal trocken. Also da gibt es auch wieder einige Steps, aber es lohnt sich, weil danach sieht es einfach aus wie neu. Ich finde die Küche auch so wunderschön. Wer mich hier schon länger verfolgt, macht das bloß weg. Der weiß, dass ich eine weiße Küche habe. Und mal eine schwarze Küche sauber zu machen, ist natürlich auch sehr interessant. Wenn es meine wäre, würde ich danach nochmal mit so einem Öl drüber gehen. Aber da weiß ich nicht, ob das wirklich für jedermann was ist. Einen letzten Part wird es noch geben. Macht gerne das Plus weg. Ein fettes Hallo an alle neuen Follower. Und bis später. Tschüss. Thank <laughs> you.